This video will walk you through how to get your PictoChart infographic into your CrowdRise page. So log in, you should already have an account. Only one person in your group needs to do this. I think I signed on with Facebook, but let's find out. Yep, okay, so you go to your infographic that you already have saved. I did one a bit ago on Reese's Rainbow, so let's use that one as my example. Go to Edit. Most of this should look familiar to you because it's very similar to the steps we've taken in the past when you were supposed to save your infographic and give it to Miss Peck. So now we go to download. Why not? Medium is free and it's a little better quality. You want to download as blocks on. Okay, download as a zip, yes. So we download. Make sure you save it somewhere where you will remember where you saved it. So I would like to save my file. For me, it's going to go directly to my downloads folder. I can move it later if I would like. Okay, so it's saved to this PC, users, CPAC, downloads. I would like to move this to documents. You're here. It's a zip file, so you're going to need to extract it. So I'm extracting all. Where do I want it to go? I want it to go in my speech class file because we want to make sure we know where everything is. So Carissa Peck, documents, all classes, speech, specifically the charity project. Look how organized you are. Okay, extract all. So now you have all these pictures here. So now you're going to go over to your CrowdRise page where I have Fit Fundraiser. And where it says Upload Photos and Videos, I click Edit on Photos. Carissa, Documents, All Classes, Speech, Charity. Block one. This is my first block. It can only be a block, so I'm going to have to arrange it so that it's somewhere that I like it. Reese's Rainbow, helping Down Syndrome find forever homes. That makes sense. Okay, crop photo. Upload another photo. You're going to download each block individually. Now, sometimes this won't work best for your infographic, so then I'm going to show you the next option. Upload photo. Who is Reese? Photo. 
you can see now when you're on your fundraiser page, it's going to make a little slideshow. Now, some students say, Ms. Peck, this isn't working. I can't crop my infographic the way we made it. That's fine. Go back to your infographic. Download it without the blocks. Open the document. And then you're just going to save it. So you already know that it wants you to search to upload pictures in squares. So let's make this really small, which you can do in paint by playing with this little doo -doo. cool. Okay, and since I'm going to be uploading things in squares, I'm going to add some more white space. I'm going to copy this and center it. That way it's a little more balanced. And then I'm going to save it individually as squares. So this would be one picture. Copy. Open a new paint document. File, save as, all classes, speech, charity, block one and two. Can I have an ampersand? I can. Okay, that's saved, and then I go to the next one. Alternatively, you can save them individually. And just make sure it's a square like shape. So, again, I'm going to kind of enter this. A square would mean that it is going to be even. That's about a square. I'll just blocks everything out. Again, save, copy, etc. So you get the idea. You must have your infographic on your CrowdRise page. You must have your YouTube video on your infographic page. You must, sorry, CrowdRise page. You must have a description of your charity and a call to action where you are asking people to donate on your CrowdRise page.